Now, on the division between this dense area and the lights here, you have to make a transition between these two. So you have to pay extreme attention here in between so you won't mess everything up. So um, there are many ways to mix them together, but you won't miss if you make circles like you've been doing all the way. So um, go for it. And if you like to try, just you can make like risks like this. Put and bring there, like lots of lines. In a further note, I'm not making this in that part. I'm making this point and pull, point and pull, like this. So when you're using the white, you can make this but real fast. This helps too. But uh, in this case, I'll keep on with the circles. And voila! You are finished with the first three layers of colors for the skin. But then, this is just the first base layer. You need to add, start adding shadows. So uh, you will start going back to the pink. And before starting, get your best pencil, pencil sharpener and make the best point you can, like this. Okay. Why do we need a sharp tip? That's because now that we are going into details, we have to start making real small strokes. So any mistakes here, any broad tips of the pencil may result on a bad coloring. So now you have to use your own knowledge about shadows and lightning and know where to, to put the, the shadows for yourself. Okay, so when you finish coloring with the pink and the brown colors, you use this one here, it's the light brown. So you can add some more shadows and add some depths in there. So all you just have to do is keep pressing so you can get the colors right, like this. Don't forget that the deeper you go, the more pressure you have to put. So. Um, working hard and um, keep in mind that when you finish using the brown one you have you also have to use the dark one like this so you can keep adding all kinds of layers and get better results once in a while you may end up making some mistakes like here for example can you see how the brown area is stronger and uh, it has some risks that doesn't belong here or even here see how the um, brown is weird here it's too strong right so all you have to do is use the color you used be before that one the lighter one so in this case I'll use the pink again and try to smooth the area like this so let's try just make movements like this you end up adding color to that part again ok 
Okay, now can you see how the, the brown parts are not that strong again? They are more uniform. See? So keep doing that. If you make some mistakes, just use the previous color, the lighter one, and redo the part all over again. Okay?